Our next guest is a Sarasota favorite and a familiar face at McCurdy's Comedy Theater. It's great to welcome back hometown guy, Tim Wilkins. Mm. As he's <laughs> right. Who's indulging? He caught me at a bad time. Well, a great time, great actually. Time. <laughs> the, the 30th anniversary of Michael's, which is amazing, and the 8th... 29th. 29th, and the 8th year I can afford to eat there, so this is really awesome. <laughs> and, then, and then of all days to come in, the date, the colonoscopy post-wrap, post Oh. And as soon as I walked in, you I said, have one. I didn't even know. Such I said, what's up, Linda? Moment. And I didn't know that that's, it was too soon. I said, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> My colon is great. I'm glad to <laughs> share it with you. Did you pull tape? You going to put that on the demo reel? <laughs> I, I do have pictures. Oh. <laughs> Later. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a highlight. That is a, so what's it like to be back? Where everybody kind of knows you. Yeah. You have to mind your P's and Q's a little more? A little bit, but then they know me, but then they've forgotten. Because that's the age of the people here, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> I can do a lot of the same material. Those, yeah. No, no, you're young. I was just in Venice. My entire front row was in their 90s. And I couldn't see how old they were. And I said, does anybody have anybody visiting for spring break? And a lady said, yeah, my son's coming. I said, how old is the little fella? She said, 62. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. You've got traffic since I moved away. Yeah. Yeah, did you notice that? Construction, Con traffic. Construction, because somebody thought to move all the coolest stuff in town within a half a mile radius mm -hmm. and not put in new lanes. And exactly. then how do they fix that? They put in roundabouts. Yes. For people in their 70s, 80s, and 90s whose cars are 40 feet long, who haven't driven in a roundabout since they were fighting the Nazis. Oh my God. Let's put that in. <laughs> So it's good to be back, otherwise. It's good to be back. <laughs> You're enjoying it. And you have to admit, it has slowed down traffic. It has. You know, normally you could just, if you went to the doctor before 9 or after 2, if you went to dinner before 4 or after 8, there was no traffic. You could just stay home. <laughs> now you have to time your whole life. <laughs> we're getting big Speaking of timing, the last time you were here, you talked to us a lot about uh, the politicians in the mix, and there were still tons of them. <laughs> now we've been able to narrow down your bits. We've narrowed down the bits, and we've narrowed down the fun. Ted Cruz just announced his running mate for mm -hmm. VP. Uh, he's picked her, but nobody's picked him. Right. <laughs> I mean, this is an election, not Make-A-Wish, Ted. <laughs> you can't can make this up. Uh, the scariest thing I've heard this election season was Tuesday during the primaries. One of the CNN reporters said Hillary's working the polls. And <laughs> even Bill didn't want to hear that. <laughs> Don't ever say that. I threw up in my mouth. Oh, oh, oh the stripper pole. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> ding, 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 Linda. <laughs> Speaking of Hillary, she's going to join us. Oh, yeah. I have Hillary here. Hillary's here to sing karaoke. I bet you didn't know that. I did not know that. What's she singing? Thompson Twins, Lies, Lies, Lies? What's she going to sing? <laughs> Is, is there a hit to what difference does it make? Whoop, whoop, what difference does it make? You're going to like know. this. I've actually heard she's singing faithfully. Awesome. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's a joke. Bill's not singing backup, I guess. No, probably not. Probably right. not. What else you got on that list? <laughs> well, hilarious. Trump keeps talking about building a wall, which, which everybody gets, well, build the wall, we'll build the wall. And President Obama came out and said, uh, that is by far the silliest thing I've ever heard, until yesterday when the Secret Service said they need to make the fence at the White House five feet higher. <laughs> so, so it's okay to build a wall around me, just, just not around Texas. <laughs> Because you hilarious. have to pick who you protect, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely you do. And, and the Snowden movie is coming out this week. Mm -hmm. And we're all concerned about hacking. We're all concerned about privacy. They said, oh, don't break into the, uh, the iPhone. We can't get the terrorist information. It's privacy. And I know people are worried about their privacy because I saw it on Facebook. <laughs> um, and, <laughs> and Twitter and Instagram and, and Reddit. <laughs> what privacy is left? We post everything no. on Facebook. The IRS has our medical records. Obamacare has our medical records. What are we worried that the FBI is going to break into our Fitbit? <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of privacy, I know that you've been traveling. I know that you've been doing all these things because you posted on Facebook. Yeah. I see pictures of your kids you don't on have Facebook. Any privacy. I have no kids' uh, uh, privacy because they post when I'm away. I post when I'm away, and I, I need a big security system. <laughs> there's 16 cameras. There's alarms. There's guards and dogs. Yeah. Because as soon as you post on vacation, having a good time, there's someone going, huh? I bet he's got nice stuff. <laughs> <laughs> good. How are the kids, by the way? How many kids do you have? Ooh. Bad uh, question? That, that's a bad question. Uh, we just had a big tattoo fight. Why? A tattoo uh, fight? They're talking about wanting a tattoo. My, my boys, I want a tattoo. How old are they? He's, uh, he's 19. You can't control you can't that. stop yeah. him at that point. No, you can him. talk him out of it. Where does yes. he want the tattoo and what well, is Well, he wants a, one of those bravery bands on his arm, that, yeah. that chicken wire thing. And I said, bravery, you haven't done anything in your life to denote bravery. <laughs> 
flavor is moving out of the house. <laughs> How did you get like a tattoo of a nightlight? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can see Tim Wilkins at McCurdy's Comedy Theater. He's here through May 1st. For tickets and info, you can visit McCurdy'sComedy.com.